so today i'm gonna give myself some art challenge and you would be seeing this more in future um this challenge is about a realistic kiwi painting for that i will be using this anupam uh, high bulk plain black paper sketchbook i'm gonna use and these benio uh, gouache paints let's start with some good vibes i'm trying to use brush through watercolors first on this paper do i know it works well with acrylics and poster colors if watercolors doesn't work well then i am going to use uh, gouache colors and i think gouache will work better let's see this is the real picture from uh, which i'm taking the reference let's take the challenge mixing that brown color of the kiwi I have uh, taken a little bit of water but still um, there is a transparency in the drawing. Uh, always start with a lighter coat so that you can give shades of the darker uh, colors and that. I'm just trying to give the correct shape to the kiwi. I can use pencil as well uh, to draw this the, the rough sketch, but I prefer the paints now. Green color will cover up this circle. Let's apply uh, the second coat of the same color to hide the transparency. Actually, I can see uh, these colors are uh, looking transparent, but I will just finish this brusro color and then we will use um, gouache because I don't like wasting my colors. This is the third layer. I'm really loving uh, painting on this paper, the black paper. Uh, now I'm using gouache colors, that green color. I just love this color. Uh, mixing a little bit of yellow color in this green.
just look at the colors these are so vibrant i will do the rest of the um, shading in the kiwi later on so now let's paint water decision was right to make this uh, painting i'm really liking it this surely gonna uh, give me some lessons on realistic painting painting on this black paper is real fun for me i told you uh, gouache works well with this paper so it is working good I'm painting some light and dark water droplets. The base work of the water is done. Um, so I will be giving finishing to the kiwis now. Then we will give finishing to water. Kiwi shape should be good so I'm trying to make it better I'm using yellow on the top of the kiwi uh, to again uh, hide the transparency. After that we will give shades to this part. The center part of the kiwi is lighter so I'm giving the lighter shades in between.
this is coming out so well I'm using light shade in the center and now I will be giving darker shades on the kiwi Now I am drawing um, little hairs on the kiwi with the light shade of this brown color. These little detailings are very important in making your painting more realistic. Um, now uh, drawing some green reflections in the water. This is a mixture of green and yellow um, the shades which I'm using here. Um, Kiwi is complete, almost complete. Uh, so my focus is now on water. Time and again, I used to look at my painting from a distance so that I can just uh, see uh, what is missing. Adding some more dots.
actually getting the desired results. I'm giving the final finishing. Water finishing is almost done. I have good news for you all. Um, I'll be sharing some collab work in future, uh, and the topic would be Christmas and winters. I'm also looking forward to that. Stay connected. Oh, let's do the final detailing in the kiwi. Um, this painting is almost done. Uh, I'm looking forward to get your feedback on this artwork. Please share your feedback in comments and do let me know if you want to know anything about this um, work. Here's the final painting. If you like the work, please hit like comment and share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching